Hi, this is Joe Blasco for Camera Ready Cosmetics, and I'd like to talk to you about Joe Blasco face powder. There are two different types of face powder. One is loose, and it comes in a jar, like so, right? And there's a powder puff in here, and there is a sifter above the powder so that when you turn the container over and you tap it a couple times on the top, the powder goes through the sifter and onto the powder puff. And then you simply open it and take your powder puff out and you have the powder already on there, okay? Now I'm gonna demonstrate with another powder puff so that I don't get powder all over myself. And what you do is you do a process that we call loading the puff. Say the powder is already on the puff. What you do then is you fold the puff in half, you rub it together like so to get it worked into the puff, and then with your fingers, your thumbs, you smooth it over the top, then you fold it like, this, like so, and this way you have a nice flat surface with which to use to simply press the powder where you have the areas that are shiny so that you're able to simply dull those areas. Now, if you see powder on your face, then you've applied too much. You don't want to see the powder, you only want to see the results of the powdering process, which means it's removed the shine, all right? So that's the loose powder. Now, you can do exactly the same thing with the pressed powder, all right? Pressed powder, you can take the pressed powder container and you take your powder puff and you just rub the powder puff over the top of the makeup and then you can fold it in half load the puff, and then apply it like so, just as you did with the loose powder. Okay, now, we have a color called light for light skin, medium for medium skin, and dark for dark skin. We also have a very dark powder that we call ebony for very dark skin. All right, so there's light, medium, dark, and ebony. That comes in both the loose powder form and the pressed powder form. We also have a powder that has no pigment in it, and we call that no color powder. Now, makeup artists have been using no color powder all the way back to the mid-1930s when they discovered that the colored powders that were used for stage makeup had pigment in them, and it would change the color of the foundation that they had applied. So they started using white talcum powder, which would be transparent. It wouldn't change the color of the foundation. And this went on for years and years and years. And then finally, a makeup artist by the name of Vinnie Kehoe, a good friend of mine, he came along and he says, hey, I'm gonna take this talcum powder, I'm gonna put it in a bottle, and I'm gonna add a few more ingredients to it, make it better, and I'm gonna call it No Color Powder. And he did just that, and he did a, made a really great product. Well, we have exactly the same type of product. It's a No Color Powder, and it's not only in loose powder form, but it's also in compact form. Now, our compact No Color Powder has been around for 45 years, that's right. So the makeup artist could just put it in their pocket, carry it out there and take their brush and work it over and go right on. Back in the day when you could use the same brush on practically everybody, but you can't do that anymore, can you? But this is all about you. So being that you're doing your own makeup, you can use your brush, right? So you don't have to worry about touching the surface of the makeup. So there you have it. You have pressed powder, you have loose powder, light, medium, dark, ebony, and then you have the no color powder that also comes in both loose and in pressed. And guess what? You can get them all right here at the Camera Ready Cosmetics website. Joe Blasco for Camera Ready Cosmetics.